the key in this project is documenting sustainability. And sustainability is not a trivial concept. It's normally recognized to have three aspects or three pillars. There is social sustainability, economic sustainability, and environmental sustainability. Now, in Whitefish, we cover all three of these. In our company, we will uh, implement this standard as quick as possible, uh, because I see all the uh, benefits we can have from trying to document uh, how we're doing uh, in the sustainability impact um, area. From my point of view, uh, this standard is suitable from any vessel, from the smallest coastliners, one-man uh, vessels, up to trawler as big as uh, ours or bigger. The most unique thing about our project is that we wanted to develop a model and a system that could be used in the day-to-day -day business processes so that a company could have a look at a catch or a processing run and say, what is my sustainability associated with that? Uh, how much fuel did I use? How much emissions did I cause? It's to make it possible for companies to pay attention to the uh, sustainability and the emissions and to make better decisions day by day. We certainly see a change towards more demanding customers related to sustainability documentation of all kind of environmental impacts. I think we can uh, assist all the small vessels and the small companies, uh, helping them to do the calculation and provide uh, documentation uh, so that they can uh, uh, offer the same uh, service and documentation about, uh, for example, climate change uh, towards their customers abroad. The purpose of a standard uh, for how to improve on environmental uh, sustainability uh, is um, uh, like a, a cookbook uh, on how you could do this uh, and also it's more easy for us as a company uh, to follow a standard than to develop something ourselves. We have some good ideas uh, on how we can uh, start using it uh, so, um, so it's maybe all about uh, finding some uh, uh, motivated uh, harvesters and uh, processors and start uh, doing this. Uh, of course, we have some important decision-making ma uh, process ahead of us, but uh, it shouldn't uh, be difficult to, uh, to get this uh, up and running. The most durable thing we made on the project is the European standard for documenting sustainability on a batch basis in the fish industry. That standard is out there. It's distributed by the European Standardization Organization. And this is a good document to use, whether you're a single vessel or a processor, or you are an organization that represents these type of industrial actors. You can get hold of the standard and you can either use it as a reference document. You can read it and think for yourself, how am I doing here? Am I doing this? Or, alternatively, you can use it as a description of, of what you should do. You could say, okay, I want to uh, document my sustainability. I want to profile my company in these areas. I want to do calculations of CO2 emissions on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Here is the standard. It describes fairly exactly what it is you need to do. So, a very obvious follow-up from this would be to get hold of the standard, read it, decide uh, to what degree you want to use it and if you decide to use it you will be among the early adopters of companies that are documenting sustainability and this is something that we expect many companies will have to do anyway. We're now in a situation that the companies who choose to document sustainability will get the competitive advantage for doing that. It's probably better to do it now than to wait until everyone is forced to do it, because then you have to, use, to do the same investment, but you won't get any benefit from it.